Hi, I'm Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Govern. Thank you for watching. We're all used to government proposals that are super expensive, become fiascos, and then force them to raise our taxes substantially to cover the costs. However, sometimes citizens can make their own proposals to solve the problems the government claims to be solving and do it in a way that's a lot more cost effective. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of those proposals. So this is the third video in a series that we've done taking place in Thurston County about and addressing the Thurston County Courthouse proposal. Thurston County in Washington State is the home of the state capital, city of Olympia. And this tax proposal that we've addressed with these other videos, if you want to see those, you can go down below and actually link to those videos and some of the articles and source documents that we might reference in this video here today. Now, in the previous videos, we've discussed how the uh, Thurston County Courthouse proposal tax that's going to be on the ballot next April is just too expensive. It's about a $300 million tax, and it's also unnecessary. It really wastes a lot of money, and uh, these issues we've discussed in some of the previous videos. However, there is actually a better option for some of the challenges that Thurston County does face in its current courthouse location. And that's really what we want to focus on today is uh, a better proposal, a proposal that actually solves the parking concerns, which are legitimate concerns in the current location. People do have trouble parking there at times. And uh, this proposal, I think, will address some of those uh, problems. It also solves some of the space growth concerns that Thurston County has in the existing location. Uh, there's already been a lot of space freed up because of the movement from the jail to the ex new jail location. So there's a lot of space there. But the uh, plan that we have right now will also free up additional space, about 10,000 square foot of space in the current location. And more importantly, this proposal costs substantially less than the current proposal that Thurston County staff has uh, basically presented to the Thurston County Commissioners. And this involves the Juvenile Justice Center, which is also where Family Court is located in Thurston County. This is actually in the city of Tumwater, uh, right next to where the current Thurston County Jail is located. And this is looking at that same facility from the air. And you can see that there's a lot of room here for parking and for expansion of this building. And the proposal is based on a plan that citizen John Pettit uh, put forward about a week ago. And uh, his father used to be county commissioner in Thurston County. He's just an interested citizen. He's done a lot of work on Thurston County's budget. And over the last couple of days, he looked at maybe a better alternative than the current expensive plan that Thurston County staff has proposed. And this mainly involves moving Thurston County District Court from the current location over to that juvenile justice and family law center location. Now, district court is where you would go if you have a speeding ticket. It's where you go if you have small claims. It's where you go if you have like a uh, neighbor dispute or a minor misdemeanor case. Uh, most of those types of cases are dealt with first or completely in district court. So it has a high traffic volume of people uh, going through it. And it, there's a couple of advantages with moving this court service out of the existing Thurston County facility. Uh, and this is what that would look like. You could actually take the existing Juvenile Justice Center here and add what they claim they need, which is about 18,000 square feet. It's a two-story building, adding about four more courtrooms or more uh, in the space that I've kind of highlighted here with the arrow. And you would see that that's part of where they could expand. And as you see, there's plenty of room for parking. And this proposal really has uh, a couple of advantages. Number one, uh, district court doesn't have the same regulatory state law requirement that Superior Court does, that it must be located in the seat of county government. That's, uh, and Superior Court is where people would have major felony cases or major civil lawsuits are in uh, Superior Court. And that is required. You have to be in the city limits of Olympia, which is where it's located today. And so district court doesn't have that restriction, so you could move it over to Tumwater. And it's really only a short distance away from the current facility anyway. Uh, additionally, the uh, Superior or, or District Court claims they need another 124 parking spaces, at least in their proposal, and they would easily be able to fit those parking spaces at the Juvenile jo uh, Justice Center and Family Law Center where they would be moving the District Court under this plan. And finally, by moving the District Court over to that location, they, uh, Thurston County would actually have an extra 10,000 square foot of space that's already set up for courtrooms, and it would be easy for Superior Court to expand into that extra 10,000 square foot space or other county services as they need it. 
So uh, I think these are an improvement. And so what you really are talking about here today, we really have two different proposals. We have one, which is the proposal that Thurston County staff has come up with, and the other one that's a proposal that citizen John Pettit came up with on his own. And I think it worth, it's worth looking at both of these and understanding that what neither of these proposals solve or resolve is the issue that we discussed in one of our last videos, which is Thurston County's entire and complete failure to maintain the existing facilities. And that's a structural problem and a uh, really a fundamental budgeting problem that Thurston County currently has right now, and neither plan is going to solve that. Any, no matter what facility is built, Thurston County does need to get control of itself and how they actually maintain existing facilities because lately they've been using the excuse of their failure to maintain the existing facilities as a reason why they want a brand new one. And this is the equivalent of a citizen. If you have a, a car at home, you decide, hey, I'm just not going to fill it up with oil. I'm going to run it out of oil, and then I'm going to complain that the car's not running great, so I need a new vehicle. Uh, doing basic maintenance is not too much for us to expect. So let's review the features and benefits of Thurston County's staff uh, courthouse plan. So this is going to be the plan that in theory is going to be uh, funded by the tax increase proposal that's going to be on the ballot in, in uh, next April. And it's a lot of money. It's going to be 215 to 315 million dollars to build this courthouse, at least based on a couple of different versions of the plan that have been proposed. And that's assuming, of course, that staff can actually stay on budget and build the building uh, the way that they've planned, which there's no guarantees based on their past history that they can actually do that. In order to fund this, they're asking for a 38.5% tax increase. That's going to be a property tax increase on the ballot in April. And this is a lot of money. This is a big increase over what Thurston County currently collects in property taxes and is going to have a significant impact on the citizens who live here. The plan forces us to basically move the existing courthouse and all the services that go along with it there, district, superior court, and it moves it all downtown to the urban core of Olympia. And that's a big feature here. Uh, Olympia has really lobbied for this, and uh, it's been a big part of the feature of this plan that I think has generated a lot of opposition from people who don't want to have to go downtown Olympia for everything. It is an optimal location for earthquake damage because the new location at Plum Street that they're planning to put this new facility, the proposed facility, is on a big area that was fill, which uh, as anybody who's studied earthquakes realizes the fill is just going to liquefy in an earthquake. Even if the building can be built to withstand an earthquake like that, most of the utilities and services that go to the building will be cut off in the event of a major earthquake. Because of that location, it's also in a great spot for a tsunami impact because it's down much closer to the water. And in addition to being potentially damaged in the earthquake, if there's a tsunami through Puget Sound, it's definitely going to hit this courthouse. That's also a problem or a feature in this case of the location. However, it is convenient for the local attic and homeless camps, which uh, are filled with a lot of people who need to use these services. And so they are considered frequent flyers in the uh, current legal system. So it will be convenient for them. I'm not sure that that's an optimal thing for people who are visiting the county courthouse uh, to experience when they go to be so close to those camps. But uh, that is one of the features. And uh, one of the concerns that we've raised in the past, a, do a prominent feature about building this new courthouse, is saddling future generations for the next 25 years uh, with the debt on whatever they end up spending on this courthouse. Now, we got all of that in this design, the, the plan that's been proposed to the taxpayers now for the bargain basement price of about $500,000. Uh, $200,000 to the city of Olympia for interlocal agreement and $300,000 to the architecture company to kind of come up with this plan. So half a million dollars. I will point out that had Thurston County staff instead directed that money towards roof repair, several of the courthouse buildings right now would have roofs that don't leak. But instead we got this plan. Now, the Pettit plan, based on John Pettit's proposal for moving district court, has other features to it that I think make it a superior option. Uh, number one, and right off the bat, it's 98% less expensive than the current Thurston County staff plan. 
And uh, that means that we don't need any major tax increases to fund this proposal. So I think those are two big features. It also addresses the parking concern that has been brought up, and I think legitimately so. It's a legitimate problem with the current location. It solves some of these parking problems because it removes one of the largest users of the parking spaces at the current location from the current lo courthouse location to where the district court would be moved to. And that's well, it's around about 90 cor uh, parking spaces a day, and uh, that's a big deal to have those being used in a new location and with plenty of room to expand at that new location. It also creates more space by just moving district court out. It, it adds about 9,000 more, 10,000 more square feet that can be used for Superior Court to expand into or for other county service to expand into. And the nice thing is there are already courthouses, so if you need to add another courthouse room for Superior Court, then you're going to be able to move into that location. It also requires no major land purchases by Thurston County. Uh, Thurston County has not done well when they bought land in the past, and it's nice for them to not have to buy any more in the future, and this proposal gives them that benefit. Then finally, it doesn't trap Olymp uh, Thurston County into the Olympia's urban blight uh, experiment, which has been going on now for a number of years downtown. Nobody knows where it's going, nobody knows how bad it's gonna get, and the Olympia City Council does seem to be on a unsustainable trajectory with how they're addressing and increasing and facilitating urban blight. And Thurston County staff, or the Thurston County uh, services don't need to be caught up in that drama. They can stay outside of it and, well, Olympia finally gets itself, uh, gets its act together. So these are some features of the Pettit Plan, and I think that when you compare these two proposals, uh, we really see that uh, there's clear benefits uh, between them, clear differences between them, and clear benefits with the Pettit proposal over the staff proposal. Because really, at the end of the day, who really wants to be looking out this, seeing this every day and every time you go down to Thurston County Court or every time you go down to use Thurston County Services? Other than the Olympia City Council, this isn't the image anybody really wants to see when they go to court. Now, for those of us who have to live in Thurston County, and those of us really, this is basically common sense, I think, for people who live anywhere, it should not be too much uh, for us to uh, ask our government staff to just stop wasting our hard-earned money right now. Uh, I don't think that we need to be wasting this on grandiose schemes and plans, whether it be pocket gophers or new courthouse designs. We just want you to stop wasting our money. And we would like for you to start maintaining the existing facilities that have been paid with hard-earned tax dollars in the past. It's not too much for us to ask government to do this, and these are big investments that uh, people have made over the decades, and there's no reason for us to let those fall apart and decay just simply through neglect or a failure to maintain them. Also, please stop looking at taxes as the first and only option when uh, an issue comes up and you have to try to address it. They should be one of the last resorts that government uh, looks towards, and yet, because it's the easiest from a bureaucrat standpoint, it seems to always be the first one. Stop bloating bureaucracy. Even while we're discussing this new major uh, proposal for this courthouse, this $300 million proposal, Thurston County staff are already considering uh, hiring a bunch of senior level bureaucrats, in including an additional assistant county manager and all kinds of six-figure employee salaried uh, people to come in and be senior level bureaucrats, implying that the current bureaucrats there aren't doing their job and they need to hire a bunch more of them. And inevitably that trickles down and that just creates a bloat of bureaucracy without providing any additional significant services to the people who live here, please stop doing that. And finally, please recognize, and I don't think this is too much for citizens to ask, that uh, we want our government services in modest facilities. We don't need marble palaces. Uh, we just need you to provide adequate services, and in many ways, I think working in modest facilities gives our us ability as citizens to be more attached and more you know, comfortable with dealing with government. We don't want people who feel like they uh, get to rule us from on high in some fancy facility and marble palace. And I think that this is something that's not too much for us to ask for, and it's something that uh, we're looking at Thurston County in this case, but I think citizens should have the right to ask for this wherever they are. We just want our tax dollars to be spent well. Thank you for watching. If you've noticed similar issues where you live, please feel free to add those to the comments section below and let me know what you've seen in your local cities or counties. Otherwise, please feel free to share with others, subscribe to my website, and go to wethegovern.com to learn more. Thank you so much.